I've been called a lot in my 23 years, but donkey of the day is a new one. Donkey of the day for Friday, August 23rd, goes to 36-year-old Joshua Kim. Okay, Joshua hails from uh, close to my neck of the woods, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Dropping the clues bombs from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Haven't been there in a minute, but had some amazing time there. Amazing times there growing up. Uh, now, something your Uncle Charlotte tells you constantly is that our sole purpose in life is to avoid crazy. Okay, we all wake up every day wanting to protect our minds, wanting to protect our bodies, and one way to do that is to avoid crazy at all costs, okay? Very hard task to do. Sometimes, okay, because you simply don't know who's crazy, okay? It's just very hard to do because you simply don't know who's crazy. That's why minding your business is very important. But sometimes crazy finds you. And that's what happened to the employees of the Sugar Life Ice Cream and Candy Bar store in Myrtle Beach. See, Joshua Kim is a 36-year-old grown-ass man who clearly likes sweets, okay? Drop on the clues bombs for all the diabetics out there. Come on. I went on Sugar Life Ice Cream and Candy Bar Store's website, and they have menu items like giant gummy pickles. Mm. Okay, Envy could swallow that without chewing it. All right, they got Boys. scrambled gummy <laughs> sizzlers. Okay, those candies look like scrambled eggs. They got warheads, blue raspberry soda warheads. I, I didn't even know that warheads had soda. Green apple warhead soda. I never seen that. They sell candy in bulk. They got gummy bears and blow pops. They got uh, the Lunchables, but they're candy. They got candy tacos, all types of stuff. And Joshua Kim decided to go in this store and make a purchase. Well, he must not have liked what he bought because he decided to take it back. But what he didn't account for was the store's no return policy on candy. I mean, it's right there. They tell you during the checkout process, but Joshua Kim wasn't going for it. Let's go to WMBF-TV for the report, please. Myrtle Beach police arrested 36-year-old Joshua Kim Thursday, shortly after they say he pulled out a gun on several employees here at the Sugar Life Ice Cream and Candy Bar along South Kings Highway. Officers say the scary encounter happened when Kim got into an argument while trying to return candy, something the store does not allow. Management here at Sugar Life says the threats also unfolded in front of a crowd of visitors, not just putting employees in danger, but young children as well. When officers searched Kim's car, a report shows they found cocaine and weed inside. <gasps> Kim is now being held under a bond of more than $750,000 and is facing a slew of charges like pointing and presenting a gun. Reporting in Myrtle Beach, Ashley Listrom, WMPF News. Mm. I, feel like, I feel like this could be an online Snickers commercial. Like Joshua Kim, right? Hear me out. Joshua Kim. You see him, it pops up, boom, Joshua Kim. But it's actually Joshua Kim Jong-un, supreme leader in North Korea. And, you know, it's him walking into a candy store, and he got everybody up against the wall at gunpoint, threatening to blow chunks of their brain out if they don't do what he wants. And then he eats the Snickers and turns back into his regular self because we all know you're not yourself when you're hungry, right? This is what I be talking about, man. This is what I be talking about when I say every day of our lives, we have to avoid crazy. Okay, all they was doing in this candy store was their job, selling Sour Patch Kids, selling gummy popsicles. And here comes this domestic terrorist, Joshua Kim Jong-un, pulling out pistols because he wants a refund on some live zoo eyeball gummies. Now, I'm not the highest grade of weed in the dispensary, but I personally don't believe that is a reason to pull a pistol on someone just because you want a refund on some damn candy. Okay, I could even understand more if he was poor and was robbing the candy store. That is what I would call a sweet lick. But being upset that they won't refund whatever candy you bought is exactly the reason my phone goes on Do Not Disturb at 9 p.m. every night for the last 15 years of my life because I do not and will not talk to N-words of any race after a certain time. Now, when I hear stories like this, uh, I have to have a reason for the crazy, right? Like, I don't want to believe that humans' brains simply just work like this. So I liked uh, in the news report when we heard that police searched the truck that belonged to Joshua Kim Jong-un. Uh, by the way, a truck that they said was leaving the scene was seen leaving the scene of another related incident. So what y'all just go around doing uh, uh, the, the, the drive-bys on candy stores? Y'all just go around traumatizing these employees that work at the candy stores? I was, if, if It made me feel good to know that they found 0.41 grams of another kind of candy, and that candy was cocaine. Okay, they also found some weed. So he might have been smoking Woolers. Woolers is when you put the weed in the blunt, sprinkle some cocaine on top of it, and enjoy one of the best highs of your life. Okay, I'm 46 years old. Your Uncle Charlotte has lived, okay? I smoked one of those dirty blunts on accident once when I was a young lad. And damn near my whole life, I've been waiting to smoke one on accident again. Now, Joshua Kim Jong-un's baby mama had something to say. Let's listen to her. All I could do was thank God, like, thank God that my son 
was not there because I don't know what I would have done. While Sugar Life staff continue to recover from the tense situation, George says she hopes Kim will get the help he needs behind bars. Not okay. Like that. He, so honestly, the best place for him is to be in jail. You know, maybe he can get his mind right. He can sober up and do something for his life. So my son can have a father. Mm. Moral of the story is Joshua Kim is nuts Out of his damn mind Y'all heard his baby mama Listen to his baby mama His baby mama wants him to get some help When your baby mama said jail is probably the best thing for you That means you probably need some intense psychotherapy And some help with your substance abuse issues Because now You got drug charges Two counts pointing and presenting firearm at a person And unlawful conduct toward a child Some donkey of the days just sell themselves Please give Joshua Kim The sweet sounds of the Hamiltons Oh now you are the donkey Of the day You are the donkey Of the day All drugs also, aside, go ahead. I'll go ahead. You know how bad of a person you got to be to to pull out a gun in a candy store? Yeah, Them stores I agree. smell good. They make you feel good. They mm -hmm. make you, like, right. them people be so nice. It's like somebody pulling out a gun at Chick-fil-A. Like, it's just. And the poor employees, they didn't even know what's going on. Did we play the employees talking? You ain't play that right? Do we? <laughs> you should have played the employees talking. Play this. Damn, we don't got that? Damn, never mind. what they say? Damn, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm surprised Mac ain't walking when you talking about all that food. All right, well, thank you for that donkey of the day. And also, too, Mac you know... Mac said he um, wanted to. He tired from the DNC. They need to make the DNC a day party. Mm. Mac wasn't at the DNC? No, but we I, were up cutting stuff. Oh, and watching things it? ready, yeah. Also, I don't like when baby mamas talk like that about their baby daddies, okay? You know who you let shoot your club up. Oh, daddy That's should the be same person. That was the same. <laughs> that, that man should have been in jail when he shot your club up. I saw the little baby. The little baby ain't nothing but maybe one year old. Yeah. That man was crazy a year ago, and you knew that. Right. But oh. now, 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 now all of a sudden, you know, you think jail is the best thing for him. Wasn't the best thing for him when y'all was sweating on each other. <laughs> <laughs> you know? What? You know who you let hit raw. All shots matter. He's right. Like, what was that, that noise he was making? The, all right. All right. All He's right. been in this chair. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that anymore. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. <laughs> now, Charlemagne was at the DNC the last couple of days, and you got a yeah, chance I'm, to I'm, chop it up with a, a bunch of different people, right? Yeah, I was out there uh, with my good sister Angela Rye and uh, Tiffany Cross and um, Andrew Gillum, you know, the host of the Native Land podcast. And uh, we spoke to a lot of people over the last couple of days. They were there all week. I was just there Wednesday and Thursday. But when we come back, uh, we're going to play our conversation that we had with my man, Ellie Mistel. Ellie Mistel is amazing. Um, you know, I I've been quoting this article that he wrote in The Nation about the Supreme Court and how you can't overstate the damage uh, that they have done and will continue to do. Uh, so we're, we're going to talk to him. But also, uh, Governor Josh Shapiro of Pennsylvania, you know, he's been on Breakfast Club Love before. Him. He was... He was uh, right there to be the, the VP pick, but, you know, it, it didn't happen. So we're going to talk to Governor Josh Shapiro when we come back. All right, we'll do that when we come back. Don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.